everyone so today uh, like I promised I am going to show you my Tory Burch Kira crossbody bag that I brought um, I thought I'd just kind of show you the size um, yeah just a whole overview um, it is made out of calf's leather and as you can see there is a slight difference in texture so this is a smooth leather and this is a more pebbled leather which I like if you turn the bag to the side you will see um, it is suede also on the side which I like because obviously suede and rain wet does not agree with each other so I prefer to be on the side rather than on the top so it's a little bit protective um, and then if I spin it round again you'll see there is a back pocket now I personally don't keep anything in there but I mean you could put a card holder maybe with your like you know credit cards or whatever in there um okay right so let me turn it back around let's start from the beginning so to begin with the thing that really really drew me to Tory Burch bags was the hardware the gold hardware now you just cannot be it honestly I brought a C by Chloe bag they're like the most recent one that's come out and I was just a little bit disappointed by the you know the um, quality of the um, of the hardware this is one thing that Tory Burch certainly does not lack is quality when it comes down to the hardware it's a bit shiny I should have polished it really but there you go um, it's a real heavy durable chain I've, I was really really impressed and I mean this doesn't even really do it any justice in my opinion it honestly it's stunning now this chain here so you can hold it by this chain it's very sturdy so you can actually remove all the straps so you can either have it just with this strap on or you can take this one off here by just simply I don't know if you can see just simply unclipping it which then of course gives you your bag a whole different look I'd say it's probably more of a daytime look without the, the bag without the um, hardware but I actually really like the hardware so I leave it on plus sometimes it's just easy just to grab onto um, the hardware rather than the, the full strap um, and of course you can detach this um, body strap that it comes with if that will just focus I actually just want to show you like the detail but it's it's not focusing there it is you will see here that um, you can adjust the strap I've left it where it came but you can of course make it longer um, that longer would be that way wouldn't it longer that way and shorter that way where it is at the moment I'm five foot six and it sits just on my just I'd say probably just like above my bum so kind of like on my hip which for me is absolutely fine I haven't felt the need to alter the length of the bag um, right so it is a it's a twisty um, closure and opening which is really smooth to, to twist and then you open it um, and it's like that on the inside and you just fold that back and here is the inside of the bag so you have three compartments each are lined with the new like Tory Birch I don't know if this is a new range of bags isn't it and then you have the middle compartment which is where I tend to put my purse and everything I kind of readily want to get at um, and so you have a little card 
compartment there which has two sections I've just got a <laughs> it's really random but it came with I got it from the corner.com it come with a lovely like bag smelly thing it smells really nice so I thought do you know what I'll keep it in the bag so that my bag smells nice every time I open it you get like this waft and it's like yes that's nice um, I've just got at the moment compact mirror in there which I just keep in that little confection there I've got my Tory Birch Chevron wallet that I have already previously done a um, a review on so I'm not going to talk about that too much in this video I have a lipstick no a lip gloss tart it's tart um, lip gloss in the bottom to be fair I'd probably keep that in the front um, and in the inside you have the Tory Burch logo and another zip that again opens really lovely and I've still got packaging <laughs> I've not taken the packaging out um, but yeah just another pocket of, I'm just going to leave that in there because you know keeps it nice and pristine doesn't it um, and then you have the back section which is where I keep my phone so oh and another how many do I need honestly that's um, Charlotte Tilbury sweet stiletto uh, that's just a lip gloss okay so I'm gonna put that in the front as well I'm probably gonna take one of those out because I don't need both do I it's been a bit a bit greedy um, so I'm just gonna put them back in there so there is plenty of room I tend to keep um, my more harder objects in the back and the middle compartment because I find if you put the, the bigger um, items in the front it kind of like distorts the bag a little bit like pushes it out so it makes it harder for it to shut so I will let me try and show you what I mean so let's put my phone let's put my phone in the front so I mean you can still easily do it yeah, I mean, I haven't really got my keys or anything in there at the moment. So, it's um, a bit hard to try and explain what I mean. Let's try and do it so that I put my phone in the back and my purse in the front. Yeah, so it's a little bit tight. It becomes a little bit tight to, to do it, but it still works. But I can easily... I've got one of them um, mini tangle teasers and um, I can fit that in there my keys, this purse mirror two lip glosses, phone I get pretty much everything I want in there this is why I, another reason why I chose this bag because it is a fairly decent size I mean it looks quite small compared to my hand but it actually it's decent like, I was really really happy with this bag when I purchased it I've got literally no complaints other than I'm like it's my baby don't put it on the floor <laughs> don't scratch it like I'm a little bit paranoid about damaging it just because it is an investment um not my mum <laughs> my mum bless her put my bag this bag on the floor on the stones when it was wet and I was like no what are you doing <laughs> Oh, and it got a little bit of mud on the front and I was going, I'm like, no, my poor bag. But anyway, yes. So <clears throat> the main strap comes off. It is just a clasp like that. Um, again, it's just a simple pull off like that. And I just want to show you how good the quality is like the detail the attention to detail on this bag is just sublime which is one of the reasons why I decided to keep this bag over the C by Chloe um, it, it has the Tory Birch come on you silly thing it has the Tory Birch logo on the come on let me try and get it to focus when it will. 
maybe I'm a bit too close, there we go. It has the Tory Birch logo on the ends of the hardware, which I thought was actually really like, really nice detail to add. I'm just going to go and put that back on there like that. Everything feels really sturdy. Um, it's held on actually coming from the inside of the bag, which I also really like. I don't know if I showed you, yes, that there's again the um, Tory Birch logo is on the strap handle. Um, all in all, it's a really, really lovely bag and if you are thinking about it, I would highly recommend it. Um, I definitely would recommend this over the Sea by Chloe one. I just felt like this was better quality. Um, I will put the link to where I purchased this bag in the description below for you guys in case you want to check it out for yourselves. All the dimensions and everything will be on there. Um, and yes, um, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new here, welcome. Please do have a look at all my other other videos and feel free to subscribe if you would like to okay guys i'll see you again soon bye